Hello fellow engineers. Today we are going to be talking about cockpit LCDs and how to determine which LCD is which and how to set them up with programmable blocks and scripts. When we're done, you'll know how to determine which LCD is which and how to get the information to show on the display that you want it to show on. So the first thing we need is either a cockpit or some type of control seat. We've already got our control seat, so this is what we will use for this tutorial. We will also need a programmable block and a script. In our case, we already have that set up, and we will be using two different scripts for this demonstration. Izzy's Inventory Manager and Automatic LCDs 2. So, let's open up our control panel by pressing the K key right here, and... There's our control seat. And the first thing that we want to do is determine how many LCDs we have and how to identify those LCDs so our scripts can use them. So we're going to scroll down right here and find our LCDs. And here it is right here, LCD panels. We can see here that our LCDs are in a nice list for us. This control seat has five of them. and We want to show different information on each of these panels. And to do that, we need to be able to identify the panel so the scripts know which display to use. We just need to count the display, as each display has a numerical value assigned to it by the game. The displays are listed in order of the numerical value. So starting at the top of the list, we have a zero, one, two, three, and four. So since we want to show specific information on each LCD, we need to tell the script which LCD to use. To accomplish this, we're going to start with Izzy's Inventory Manager. So we need to open up the programmable block port and open the, and click the edit button and scroll down to where it says, or gives us information regarding LCDs. And here it is. Now, in this case, we have multiple LCD tags, right? Keyword tags. And I think for this one, we're just going to use the performance one right here. And we're going to copy this by pressing, or we're, first we need to highlight it. Then we're going to copy it by pressing Control C. Hit Escape and get out of that. And then scroll back up and let's look at our Control C right here. Inside the Control C name, we're going to paste using Control V the uh, LCD tag that we need. And as you can see, it's now converted over and says is the LCD. And if we look down right here, we can see that it's showing us the information we requested. But what if we want that information on a different LCD? Well, all we have to do is open the control panel and find the custom block. Or, I'm sorry, the custom data uh, button, which is right here. If we click that button right there, you can see right here it says at zero I, IIM dash performance. That at zero is the display that we are currently using. And all we're going to do is we're going to delete that, type in one, and scroll down here to this block right here remember zero one and we need to change this from no content to text and images all right and now you can see there that that display is now showing the information that we want uh, now in the case of Enzy's inventory manager sometimes the script will take care of uh, all the LCD formatting for us so there's not a lot to do with uh, some scripts. But bonus trick, you can have multiple scripts display information on the same control seat or cockpit. So let's open up our programmable block for automatic LCDs too. And we need to go to the edit button. And here's our script. And right here at the top, you can see it says use this tag to identify LCDs managed by the script. Same thing as before, we're going to highlight it. 
copy it using control C and then go back up to our control seat and we're going to paste it in with control V all right now if we look nothing's changed right There's all the LCDs are pretty much the same so with automatic LCD we have to tell it what to do so let's tell the script what information to display here and in the case of uh, automatic LCDs we have to type that in manually uh, so I'm gonna do that right now and when I'm done I'll show you the results all right here we are and as you can see this LCD is now showing the day date and time but looking at this other LCD right here we can still see that Izzy is still running now one last uh, tip if the information isn't showing on your LCD and you've done everything else correctly according to the script instructions then make sure that your chosen LCD is set to show text and images right here at this drop down and for more space engineers fun why not check out these videos here have a good day everyone bye bye